I will talk here about backing up Music One and moving it to another computer if you need to. Uh, let's go to the Music One folder. Whenever you install Music One, there's always a Music One folder on your C drive. And you see here we have a Music One, a Music One SE, our old Music One Legacy Edition, and down at the bottom there is a Traffic One uh, folder. Inside the Music One folder, you will see a collection of OCX files and DLL files and things like that. The thing I want you to look at, though, is your database. Your database will have an extension of .m1 on the end of it. There are several of them here. There's uh, one for KZOS. There's some demo databases that I have here. Now that database is really the only thing you have to back up with Music One. You need to copy that thing off your hard drive to some other media at least once a week. And while it's not required, you may also want to copy your logs folder to some other media. Those are the logs that Music One makes, not the logs that it makes for your automation system. And that's uh, pretty easy to do. Now, if your Music One database is kept on your C drive, there's an even easier way to do a backup. And this only works if it's on the C drive. If your database is kept on a network drive, then you'll have to do what I just showed you. But if it's on the C drive, you can select your database and click that backup button there. And Music One will make a zip file of your database, named for your database, and it will also uh, copy your logs folder into that backup file. There is the zip file, and inside the zip file I will have a folder named Music One, and inside that Music One folder will be my station database and my logs folder. Now if I have to move to a new machine, I'm going to run the Music One installer on the new machine, and I drop my database and my logs folder into the Music One folder on the new machine, and I am ready to go. Music One itself is always installed on a C drive, but that does not mean your database has to be in the C drive. In this case, I have uh, Music One databases on a D drive, which is an internal hard drive. So I'm going to click Network, go to my D drive, and then I will find my Music One folder in here. I have a number of them in that folder right there. Open that. This could be your database in some external folder if you wanted it to be there. For example, it might be in a folder that is daily backed up automatically. Some stations keep it there. So uh, be aware of that. And if you are restoring to a new machine, you'll want to take your database and put it where it belongs if it is outside the Music One folder.